Obviously, it's total focus on this five-player build. See where his game is. I mean, you can look at numbers all you want, but ultimately, you need to see how he plays in person. And that's Out on his own on the break. Goes up, throws down the breakaway jam. A floater, and that one good. Very well done. He's mostly off guard. He doesn't shoot a ton of threes. And he's usually comfortable from the mid-range area. So that can open up threes for other players. As a wing, make sure you can hit. A little turnaround. Add another one in the scoring column for him. It's rebounded by Beverly. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. You're now tuned in to Old Head TV. Put some pressure on that like and that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn those notifications on. Hey, yo, what's good, YouTube world? It's Old Head TV. And I'm back in the building. Back in the builder. And I'm back with another banger for my 2K family. Back again with another shooting guard build. With an incredible wingspan. Very athletic. Can jump out the gym. Very hard to guard in many different situations. Due to his quick first step. And and his bag of different moves. Now this build has an excellent mid-range game, can hit the three ball, can play in the low post and is very good around the basket while finishing with contact and can split the defense with great body control. And is also an excellent defender. You see the thumbnail so you already know what it is. This build has shades of three-time NBA champion Dwayne Wade. So without further delay, let's get into the build. Alright, for the position, we're gonna go with shooting guard shooting hand right left doesn't matter jersey number does matter because we're making a Dwayne Wade build now let's get into the body settings all right for the height we're gonna go six foot four weight we're gonna go 220 pounds wingspan is gonna be six foot eleven and the body shape we're gonna go with is compact now let's get into the attributes all right for the close shot we're gonna take that to a 70 driving layup we're gonna take that to a 80 driving dunk is gonna be a 86 and with that combination of attributes, we unlock everything we need to be able to slash and finish around the basket in many different ways. With Gold Aerial Wizard for oops and putbacks, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Silver Acrobat and Fearless Finisher. Also, we get Gold Limitless Takeoff, Silver Posterizer, and Silver Slithery. And for the post control, we're going to take that to a 75. And with that 75, we're able to utilize Gold Post spin technician silver back down punisher dream shake and drop stepper and that right there gives us 18 finishing badge points now let's move on to the shooting all right for the shooting i didn't go crazy i just focused on meeting certain thresholds for consistent shooting so for your mid-range shot we're gonna take that to a 81 and your three-point shot we're gonna take that to a 79 and that right there gives us 20 shooting badge points and everything we need to be a consistent shooter is right in tier one and the badges are very cheap just three to four badge points but be sure to stick around until the end of the video so i can show you a good badge setup that i have you shooting consistently with the bare minimum and if you plan on taking this build into the rec or pro-am be sure to put your free throw to a 75 now let's get on to the playmaking all right for your pass accuracy we're gonna take that to a 70 now i know for some people that's 70 rating might be a little too low but you got to keep in mind you aren't a point guard you are a shooting guard the offense should be running through you but if you want to get in your playmaking bag you can with silver needle threader it'll help you boost your low pass accuracy when trying to get through those tight windows when facilitating the ball and also keep in mind this Dwayne Wade bill gets playmaking takeover now for your ball handle you're going to take that to an 89 and that 89 rating will unlock hall of fame quick first step gold clamp breaker and killer combos and for your speed with ball we're gonna take that to an 80 and that right there should have you at 20 play 
making badge points. Now let's move on to the defense. For your interior defense, we're gonna take that to a 69. For your perimeter defense, we're gonna take that to a 87. And with that 87 perimeter defense, we get to unlock Hall of Fame Menace, Hall of Fame Ankle Braces, Gold Challenger, and Silver Clamps. For your steel, we're gonna take that to a 85 so we can unlock Silver Glove and Silver Interceptor. And this is gonna come in handy because you have a 611 wingspan. And for your block, you're gonna put that to a 68 because we do get access to bronze anchor. And for your offensive rebound, we're gonna take that to a 46. Your defensive rebound, we're gonna take that to a 70. And that gives us bronze rebound chaser and 22 defensive badge points. So we're gonna run that back real quick. That leaves us with 18 finishing badge points, 20 shooting badge points, 20 playmaking badge points points and we have 22 defensive badge points on this 6-4 Dwayne Wade build. Now for the physicals, your speed, we're going to take that to a 82. Your acceleration is going to be a 86. Your strength is going to be a 70. Your vertical is going to be a 75 so we could get those pro contact dunks and your stamina is going to be a 91. Now let's get into these takeovers. All right, as you can see, we get slash take, we get shock creator take, we get playmaking take and we get lock tape. Me, I'm gonna go with easy blow buys and we could do pull up precision. And now I'm gonna hit the finish button so we can see that final product. There you have it, Shades of Dwayne Wade, OG Ananobi, and Mikkel Bridges, and you have built a two-way mid-range creator. Now we're gonna test the build so I can show you this badge setup, get y'all out of here. All right, for the finishing badge setup, we got 18 badge points to work with. So we're gonna do Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Silver Acrobat, Silver Fearless Finisher, um, we could do Silver Posterizer, we can make gold limitless takeoff the core badge and when you core that limitless takeoff you will get seven badge points back and six of those badge points you could put on silver slithery and that'll leave you with one badge point left over and you could put that anywhere me myself i would put that on back down punisher or post spin technician now for the shooting badge setup we got 20 badge points to work with so tier one we're going to do gold claymore Gold Corner Specialist, Gold Guard Up, Hall of Fame Mini Magician, uh, we could do Silver Volume Shooter, Gold Amp, and we can make Space Creator on Hall of Fame the Core Badge, and that'll give us six badge points back. And with those six badge points that I would get back, I would take maybe two of those badge points and I would put Volume Shooter to Hall of Fame. And I would take the four that's left over and I put Slippery Off Ball on Hall of Fame. Now for the playmaking, we got 20 badge points. So tier one, I'll do Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Gold Hyper Drive, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Gold Unpluckable. I will make Clamp Breaker the core badge. And I'll take those seven badge points that I'll get from Core and Clamp Breaker, and I'll put that on Gold Killer Combos. And the badges from your Rebirth, you should have six right now, or maybe seven, I'm not sure. But I would definitely take six of those and I'll put that on Silver Handles for days. Now for the defense, we got 22 badge points to work with. So we're gonna do Bronze Anchor, Silver Off Ball Pest, Bronze Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame Ankle Braces, Hall of Fame Menace. We could do Silver Clamps. We can make Gold Challenger the core badge and we'll get seven badge points back from that. Which those six, I will put on Silver Glove. And with that last badge point left over, I will probably bump off ball pest to gold all right y'all that's it for me old head tv be sure to put some pressure on that like that subscribe button drop a comment let me know what you think of the build and what builds you might want to see on the channel in the future and i'll be sure to get to it until next time peace
good. Some of the shots he's taken have been head scratches. He's out there playing like it's a game of horse. They held a 12 point lead earlier. Pulls up from the top of the key. And again. And here's Chicago. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Punches it down with Fury and rubs it in a little deep. Levine outside to the paint. And the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming on the end of an alley-oop. What a loss.